Steve, AAA estimates more people are traveling this year than last year. And uh, this morning, we're helping you get ready for Labor Day weekend. Next hour, we are focusing uh, on the roads. But first, we want to talk about flying. Let's bring in TSA and transportation expert Keith Jeffries. Keith, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Jeanette. Good to see you as well. So I actually want to get into that, that, that number that we talked about as far as more people traveling this year compared to last. It's not that tickets, I don't believe, that they're cheaper this time around. What's making more people uh, hit the skies for travel? Yeah, we've seen a significant increase in those that are willing to travel and get out there and see things. COVID's really brought that upon us. Uh, about a 17% increase even from the highest point in 2019. I think people are just ready to get out there. And then you compound it with the most recent storms down in the south. Mm. Certainly going to add some uh, traffic to the uh, airport travel this weekend. So let, let's talk about uh, that traffic and, and what you can do to make it as smooth as possible. Of course, we're talking about things that are within your control. What are some tips you have? Yeah, great question. I mean, the first thing is give yourself plenty of time. You know, there's going to be a lot of automobile traffic. So if there's a significant commute to get to the airport, give yourself some extra time to oh. do that. Always be very, very patient when you go. Uh, if you're unsure what you can bring, TSA has a terrific website, tsa.gov, on what you can bring. Double check that. Make sure you leave your firearm at home for those firearm owners. And uh, ch double check with your airlines before you depart your residence or wherever you're leaving from to make sure that that flight is on time. And I think that just helps uh, the whole process, but giving yourself plenty of time. Yeah, that last point is a good one. Maybe downloading the app, making sure you're getting text alerts, because I, I find um, at least this year there, there have been more changes uh, in the air compared to last. Speaking of, when it comes to delays, cancellations, what can you speak briefly to what customers are entitled to in terms of their rights when it comes to compensation and others? Well, that's a great question as well, Jeanette. It, it varies from airline to airline, and and there uh, I've received some notices here recently as I'm anticipating travel, and they're offering up some things for me if I want to change flights. Mm -hmm. But if the flight is delayed, it varies from airline to airline. But the FAA and the federal government is cracking down and requiring the airlines to do more for those that have planned these significant trips as we get closer to the holiday season. Uh, that's going to be important and double check with your airline on what is being offered. But if you're in doubt, always purchase that travel insurance. I would highly recommend that for those that are certainly concerned. Yeah, I know a lot of travel experts recommend that uh, as well. I, we have about a minute left. I, I, I guess I'll ask you about some changes to clear. Um, it's that um, the, the ability to basically move faster, faster through security lines. What are the changes that folks should know about if they use that? Well, there's been some uh, a lot of reports in the media, and CLEAR is an excellent organization for those that uh, don't want to take as much time to uh, purchase pre-check. It's a little bit lengthier time, but pre-check is certainly a way to go. So CLEAR, what they can expect to see for those CLEAR customers is there may be more opportunities where uh, the CLEAR uh, member may need to show their uh, oh. government issued ID to a TSA agent before they're allowed access to the screening checkpoint. But it should be just a slight delay. It's not going to cause too much of a disruption, I'm okay. sure. Okay. Good heads up, just in case you're, you're thrown off by that. Last Absolutely. point here, and, and this applies not to just uh, this weekend, but any other travel weekend. Um, I, I would say the earlier the flight, the better, just in case there are delays, correct? Oh, you're an experienced traveler, Jeanette. Absolutely. The earlier, the better. That's uh, what I've, I've had great success with that over the years. <laughs> and I would highly recommend that. Yes. And I, I, I will add really quickly. Um, it, it seems like at least the airlines that I've gone on, American and others, aren't charging that um, that penalty or that fee for changing your flight, if that's something you'd like to explore. But as you've been saying, check, double check first, correct? Absolutely, and I'm experiencing the same thing. It's great to see the airlines coming on board, really trying to do even more for their customers. Yeah, that's good to see. All right, always appreciate uh, having you on, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. Have a great weekend. You as well. Happy Labor Day weekend. That's TSA and transportation expert Keith Jeffries. All right.